The art of flirting, building bridges, spark by spark, flirting. It's the art of showing interest, sparking connections, and maybe even finding love. It's about playful glances, witty banter, and the thrill of connecting with someone new. But forget the cheesy pickup lines. Real flirting is about being genuine, respectful, and most importantly, fun. It's about showing someone you see them, you find them interesting, and you'd like to get to know them better. Think of flirting as building a bridge. Each smile, each shared laugh, each genuine compliment is a brick that brings you closer. It's about creating a space where a connection can blossom, whether it leads to friendship, romance, or simply a pleasant interaction. So, how do you master this art? It's simpler than you think. It's not about mastering complex techniques, but about tapping into your natural charm and letting your personality shine. The key ingredients? A dash of confidence, a sprinkle of humour, and a genuine desire to connect. Remember, flirting is a dance, not a race. It's about enjoying the process, savouring the moment, and letting the sparks fly naturally. So relax, be yourself, and enjoy the journey of connecting with others. Body language speaking volumes without words. They say actions speak louder than words, and nowhere is this truer than in the realm of flirting. Your body language is a powerful tool, conveying attraction and interest long before you utter a single syllable. So how can you use it effectively? First, focus on openness, uncross your arms, relax your shoulders and angle your body towards the person you're interested in. These subtle cues signal that you're approachable and engaged in the interaction. Next, master the art of the lean. Leaning in slightly when they're speaking shows you're interested in what they have to say. It's a subtle way to close the distance between you and create a sense of intimacy. And don't underestimate the power of a smile. A genuine smile is incredibly disarming. It instantly makes you appear more approachable, trustworthy and attractive. Remember, your body language should feel natural and comfortable. Don't overthink it. Simply relax, be yourself and let your body do the talking. The power of the gaze-eye contact that speaks volumes. Eyes are the windows to the soul and they play a crucial role in flirting. The right kind of eye contact can convey interest, build intimacy and create a powerful connection. But how do you strike the right balance between showing interest and coming on too strong? Start by making eye contact when you first approach someone. This shows you're confident and interested in engaging with them. Hold their gaze for a few seconds, then look away briefly before making eye contact again. This playful glance is key to creating a sense of flirtation. When they're talking, maintain eye contact to show you're listening attentively. Don't stare them down, but let your gaze linger, conveying that you're captivated by what they have to say. A good rule of thumb is to maintain eye contact for about 70% of the time while listening and 50% of the time while speaking. Remember, the key to effective eye contact is to make it feel natural and comfortable. Avoid prolonged staring, which can be intimidating. Instead, aim for a soft, inviting gaze that shows you're interested and engaged. The art of playful banter, light teasing done right. Humor is a powerful flirting tool. It can break the ice, create a sense of connection and make you more memorable. But when it comes to flirting, not all humor is created equal. The key is to keep it light, playful, and above all, respectful. Light teasing, when done right, can be incredibly effective. It shows you're paying attention, you have a sense of humor, and you're not afraid to be a little playful. But the line between playful teasing and hurtful comments can be thin. So how can you make sure you stay on the right side of that line? First, keep it lighthearted. Choose topics that are easy to laugh about, like a funny observation or a shared experience. Avoid anything too personal or potentially offensive. Second, pay attention to their reactions. If they seem uncomfortable or offended, back off immediately. Flirting should be fun for both parties involved. Remember, the goal of light teasing is to create a fun, playful dynamic, not to make anyone feel uncomfortable. When in doubt, err on the side of caution. A genuine compliment is always a safer bet than a potentially offensive joke. 